Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about one of the simplest lead code problem, length of last word. You will be given an input string which consists of words separated by space. Return the length of the last word in the string. If the last word does not exist, then return 0. Here is an input string, hello world. The last word is world and its length is 5. In another example, this input string does not have any words, so simply return 0. One of the assumption is, the input string only contains spaces and English letters, no other characters. We will directly jump into coding session and discuss all possible approaches. One of the simplest approach we can think about at first is, break the string into tokens and return the last word length by using Java predefined functions. Here, this regular expression considers all types of spaces, including multiple spaces. It considers them as a single unit. The split function breaks the string into multiple tokens by considering space as a delimiter. Now, find the length of the last word and return it back. This solution works as expected, but many are not interested because we are using predefined functions. And also, unnecessarily we are processing entire string. I mean, we are breaking entire string into tokens. We will change our approach. In our next approach, we will start reading one character at a time from the end of the string. And we will keep track of the count every time we encounter a letter. We will return the count any time we face a space character. First, I will remove this piece of code. Now, we will capture the length of the string. We will declare a count variable. Its initial value is 0. We will use while loop and iterate backwards until we reach first character. Now, we will read each character and check is it space or not. Minus minus length double equal to space. If it is space, then return the count. If it is a letter, then increment the count. In case there is no space in the input string, I mean the input string has only one word, then we will be out of the while loop. So return the count back. This approach works as expected until we face any input with trailing spaces. This is like having spaces at the end, like this. So this input string has a couple of spaces at the end. In our logic, we are returning the count immediately after facing a space. So we will never get the length of the last word. We can trim the input string before processing, but we cannot use predefined functions. Let's change our approach. In this approach, we will start incrementing count value any time we face a letter. But we return the result only after the count value is a non-zero value. We are not going to increment the count value if we face space in the initial iterations. Once we start incrementing count value means we have already encountered the last word. So we will return the count value immediately after spacing the face after the last word. Let's run. I'll uncomment this first and this works as expected. It didn't consider the last spaces, trailing spaces. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.